commiserating with the Nigerian army for the loss of soldiers in the course of fighting Boko Haram insurgents and during other operations, the Benin monarch prayed God to grant their families the fortitude to bear the irreparable loss. The Oba of Benin informed the army chief of staff that the posting of a Benin man, Brigadier General Omoege, as the general officer commanding the four mechanized brigade of the Nigerian army Benin city was first of its kind and it is quite remarkable and appreciated by all. The Omonoba assured the Nigerian army that the palace would continue to revive the rich cultural heritage of the kingdom and build on the legacies left behind by his forefathers and prayed that God and the ancestors to grant the chief of army staff wisdom and good health to continue to discharge his duties to the people. Oba Ewai II who expresses concern over the insecurity in the country told the army chief of staff that the palace is ever ready to support the Nigerian army in any way possible and urged the officers to feel free to interface with the palace on any issue bordering them. I want to, on behalf of the chiefs, to thank the Nigerian army for the role that they have been playing, protecting the, uh, the, uh, the citizens. I want to thank you for the, uh, for the security, also the security role in this charging assisting the other security agencies as well. We all know all about it, we read it in the newspapers, we hear it in the news, and uh, indeed, you are, as a Yunami, needs to be commended. Earlier, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tuko Yusuf Burante, informed His Royal Majesty that he was in a door state to deliver the inaugural lecture on contemporary security affairs at Igbinedian University, Okada, and consider it necessary to pay homage to the Oba of Benin and solicit his royal blessings and support. He described Omonoba as a first class Oba in the country whose role in maintaining peace and security in a modern society cannot be underrated, pointing out that the Bini Obas, past and present, have distinguished themselves in military and other human endeavor. The chief of army staff used the opportunity to seek for closer ties in order to successfully fight insecurity in the country. As a chief, we have consistently played host from time immemorial to the Nigerian army, and we saw it fit to identify with we are thrown as a critical stakeholder in the well being of the society. I would also like to assure the Foreign Majesty of the preparedness of the Nigerian Army to continue to support and partner with other security agencies and the palace to combat all forms of criminality because of this kingdom with all those given potentials. High point of the visit was the presentation of souvenir to His Royal Majesty Oba Ewai II by the Chief of Army Staff. Patience, O Saugiwa, reporting.